Russian experts commented on the likelihood of a new accident, which was discussed in a science magazine publication. Reactions in the destroyed unit of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant are continuing and will continue for thousands of years, nuclear physicists believe. However, this process is not dangerous, experts say. So they commented on the material of Science magazine, in which the Ukrainian specialists said that a new accident is brewing in Chernobyl. This conclusion was reached because of the increased number of neutrons detected by sensors in one of the rooms of the former nuclear power plant. This fact could be related to the operation of the equipment itself or the ingress of water under the sarcophagus above the plant, Russian specialists explained. Ukrainian specialists noted a growing number of neutrons in one of the premises of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. Such a signal came from room 305-2, which contains tons of fuel-containing material buried under debris, Anatoly Doroshenko of the Institute of Nuclear Power Plant Safety Problems, Ukraine, said in a publication in Science. In the year of the accident, 1986, a sarcophagus of concrete and steel, called the shelter, was erected at the nuclear power plant. However, rainwater could still seep inside, where 170 tons of irradiated uranium lay. Because water slows neutrons and increases their chance of striking and splitting uranium nuclei, heavy rains sometimes caused a dramatic increase in neutrons, according to a publication in Science. Therefore, a massive new safe confinement was erected over the shelter. This arched structure was to isolate the sarcophagus from the rain, among other things. At the end of November 2016, the arch was successfully slid over the reactor building. After that, the installation of the equipment continued, ending in 2019. The confinement probably worked, as for a long time, the number of neutrons in most areas of the facility was stable or decreasing. Now, however, Ukrainian experts are reporting a slow but still increasing number of neutrons. As suggested by the University of Sheffield, United Kingdom, Drying out the fuel makes the neutrons passing through it more effective for fission of uranium nuclei, so a new accident is possible. After the material in science resonated in the media, the Institute for NPP Safety Problems, Ukraine, published a report stating that the increase in neutron flux still occurs, but does not exceed the established safety limits. The water is involved. As we know from nuclear physics, neutrons appear as a result of spontaneous nuclear fission in the area of the destroyed Unit 4 from the moment of the accident. This is a physical process that takes place in nature in isotopes of different elements, such as uranium-238. However, isotopes that emit neutrons more intensely, such as curium-244, remained in the spent fuel. Since fission is spontaneous, the source of neutrons itself changes slowly and is determined by the half-life of the respective isotopes, hence a sharp change in the detector readings is possible due to the environment," said Georgi Tykomarov, deputy director of the Institute of Nuclear Physics and Technology of MEPHI. Russian experts interviewed confirmed the possibility of an increase in the registered neutron flux, but are confident that there is no danger in this. Some experts believe that the reason is due to changes in the properties of the fuel and the amount of water in which neutrons are slowed down. The article by Ukrainian experts indicates that there are more neutrons, and this can be caused by a number of reasons, Georgi Tykomarov explained. These include water getting into the corium zone, the lava-like alloy that makes up the contents of a nuclear reactor Izvestia, and conversely, the drying out of the surrounding materials, which created voids that let neutrons in more efficiently. However, it is incorrect to speak of a fundamental change in the situation. Yevgeny Fedorovic, professor of the Higher School of Atomic and Thermal Energy of the Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, is sure that water appeared inside the sarcophagus because neutrons cannot form without it. For an atomic reaction to take place, a critical mass and critical dimensions of the uranium fuel are necessary, the expert explained. Inside the power unit, this could have been preserved. It is likely that a self-sustaining chain reaction occurred there. Unlike his colleagues, Igor Ling, deputy director of Ibri RAS for information analytical support of complex nuclear and radiation safety problems, believes that it is not about the change in neutron flux, but in what part of it the detectors register. The expert explained, the device is located at a certain distance from the fuel mass. Not all neutrons reach it, many of them are slowed down in the water. 
Thus, leaving water could have increased the number of neutrons reaching the detector, but not their actual number. A safe accident. Even if the number of neutrons did increase, it poses no danger, said Anatoly Blagoveshensky, a professor at the Naval Polytechnic Institute. When a nuclear reaction starts, the fuel in the reactor heats up, the temperature rises and is transferred to the coolant, said the professor. When the uranium nucleus fissions into two fragments, these fragments fly apart, are braked in the substance and transfer their energy to the substance that is heated. Consequently, it should begin to heat up there. The system is under atmospheric pressure. Under these conditions, the water boils at 100 degrees, after which it turns into steam. Automatically, the chain reaction stops, because if there is no water, there is no neutron slowing down, hence no chain reaction. Artem Namishin, head of the Research Nuclear Reactor Research Center at Tomsk Polytechnic University, also agrees that there is no cause for alarm. The presence of neutron radiation and its small changes over time in the volume of the destroyed CHNPP power unit is a quite natural and expected phenomenon, the expert said. But in any case, if there is a suspicion that the situation is developing according to a negative scenario, one should not discuss the situation in the media, but convene emergency commissions involving the scientific community, designers and operators of reactors like the one built in Chernobyl. Everything is under control. It is difficult to predict how the situation will unfold due to the lack of information, experts say. Specific data on the density of neutron fluxes and other parameters, as well as their changes, are not published, experts said. After the material in science resonated in the media, the Institute for NPP Safety Problems published a report stating that the increase in neutron flux is still occurring, but it does not exceed the established safety limits. I am certain that the specialists working at the plant will sort it out and provide reports, said Georgi Tykomarov to Izvestia. Of course, molten fuel may be removed and buried in special containers. Technologies for this process do exist and are being used by the Japanese to eliminate the consequences of Fukushima. However, even if nothing is done, there is no danger to the population. Radiation also exists in nature. Now the option of treating the shelter and the previously built sarcophagus as a natural controlled storage facility is much more attractive than trying to remove the spent fuel. Curium-244 has a half-life of 18 years, so there is almost no activity to be expected from it. Uranium-235 isotopes have a half-life of millions of years. The reactions will continue until the enriched uranium runs out, confirmed Vyacheslav Shershikov, head of the Laboratory of Methods and Tools for Radiation Safety during space missions of the Institute of Mathematical Problems of the Russian Academy of Sciences. However, during a chain reaction, which is going on in the remains of the fourth power unit, the burnout of the fuel is faster, so the process will take thousands, not millions of years, the expert believes. As an example, he cited the natural nuclear reactor in Gabon, West Africa, where enriched uranium is in layers of sand. Nuclear reactions have been going on there for hundreds of thousands of years. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.